Today we are going to talk about a problem in Samsung Galaxy 2, the tablet. I don't know if you ever got a situation when the battery is totally discharged and you try to charge it and the tablet will turn on, try to charge, goes off, turn on again, as we see, went off, will come on, try to charge again, and we're getting a cycle when it cannot start. What we're going to do is to make a little bypass. I took a diet, and I will connect the diet right to this capacitor. As you see, it's very easy. You only have to try 100 times until you get it. Now I will take here. This is the capacitor. Who welcomes the voltage? Is connected to pin seven and eight. Okay. Looks good to me. Yes. Later you can do it right, take a little bit of thermal tubing, put it inside, and do something well done. I'm just showing how to solve the problem in the tablet right now. Let's go now for the opening. Okay. Uh, so we know the first one we don't know could be a voltage regulator, second one is a MOSFET, third one diodes, fourth one MOSFETs. Here same than the third. They are diodes. Pay attention. From the center to one side, one diode. To the other side, identical diode. They are identical because they are twins. Same process. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. MOSFET. Pay attention to it. It's an open circuit. Trigger the gate. It's a close circuit. Turn it off. There is no conduction. Trigger it on. There is conduction. Turn it off. There is no conduction. Okay. This guy is a MOSFET. Surprise. Look this other guy. Zero. Almost zero. Everywhere. Doesn't matter where do you want to try it. Everything is zero. Hi. TL431 is a voltage reference chip. We will find them in switching power supplies. Let's learn how to test it. To make a test of my voltage reference chip, I'm going to use a test lead homemade like this. You can use the one that is uh, pins from deep lines and they are stronger than mine and mine they are flexible, not too good, but it's just an idea how to do it. The negative from these guys, pay attention, I place it in the center, 
the negative is here in the power supply the positive ones they are on the sides they are joined together and there is a 1k resistor in serial with the output in the power supply I'm going to use 5 volts for testing remember guys if you don't have a power supply like that you can use something like this from a smartphone and it will work fine the same now I have a voltmeter in the DC volts scale my negative proof is on the negative in the power supply and my positive one I will place it here after the resistor not before now I'm going to make a measurement of the voltage drop after the resistor what I see here is the same voltage in the power supply because there is not any load connected to it I have here a switching power supply and TL431 chip here right there is what I'm looking for it's TO92 package and in the other side without removing the chip from the printing circuit board I will try to make the test if it doesn't work I have to remove the chip remember that I'm just trying to save time in testing without complications I will go here to the point pay attention to the voltmeter it should drop the voltage to to 2.4 something to 2.5 volts did you see? ok this chip is good hi I got a laptop, a Lenovo it came from another fixing its owner said that he sent it to fix and they changed the microprocessor and the memory but the problem is still on the laptop came here and there was some delays uh, it came without the charger without hard disk drive it took some time to get the charger and after that find a hard disk drive for it and make one windows installation to see what is going on let's watch the video about it I found out this little guy is the MOSFET transistor that let the voltage to pass to fit the electronic uh, board for the LAN section so if I remove it that section will be off I removed my transistor without affecting any other device around now I am ready to go for the final test and probably the computer will be fixed and once that the set is uh, right the computer will start in the first try after removing the chip that controls the network area the original problem is gone, the computer is very fast it's not getting stuck the mouse has a real-time response and the computer is ready to go back to its owner